Thank you, Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. And we're, we're back. back. Part, Part two. two. The big reveal. Just a quick reminder, we're in the home of Sina, huge influencer here in Hawaii, and Kyle, their husband, who's also our real estate agent. Yes, the, the surfing, surfing agent. agent. And they've asked us to come over and infuse some style, some function into their huge white box of a space. If you guys are unfamiliar with our OMG We're Coming Over episodes, it is a very specific thing that we do with these people. Unlike a normal interior design interaction, they have no idea what we are about to do in the space. So today, you're gonna see us finish and reveal to them, and this reveal is a very emotional one, and also, it's it's high stakes, because we put in so many permanent things, they better like it. Mm. we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're coming over. Open up, we're here. Okay, you're yelling like so loud. Okay, so we have this mirror here. This is something that we got a while ago. We haven't used it in a project. I was originally thinking I was gonna keep it brown, but now seeing how the space is coming together, everything is so beautifully tone on tone in there. I think that we can let the brown tones be like their wood coffee table, the wood slat wall, you know, the different wood things we have going on in there. And this is just plastic. <laughs> so I'm gonna paint it and I'm gonna paint it this gorgeous purple paint color that I found that I think Sina is gonna be obsessed with and I know Kyle is gonna be good with because it's like a restful color. A lot of the things that you find here in Hawaii at thrift stores or like reuse places are from old hotels. This was definitely from a hotel and this is like a kind of plasticky material that was woven so I don't feel bad about painting this, this purple color. Oh my gosh, I love how this looks now in this solid texture. It's so much better than it was before. It looks more modern. It's so much more their vibe. It's gonna look so cool on the checkered wallpaper. Let's move on to another project. So before they were suffering from a little bit of wallitis, you guys know that is our term. We've diagnosed many people with. It's when you shove your furniture up against the wall instead of using the room. So their sofa was shoved up against the wall. Now we have moved it out as an L off the wall, creating the opportunity for a living area, a conversation area we're bringing in two cozy chairs. And also we need a coffee table, but we are strapped. <laughs> the budget is tight. So we're going to DIY one. All right, so we wanted to make something organic shape for this coffee table, so we are going to really do a budget DIY here, and we're just using three buckets for legs, and we're gonna put some plywood on top of it. Kate just traced out the shape she wanted. Gonna use a jigsaw to cut it out. So we're just using two sheets of plywood, screwed and glued together, so the table's gonna be an inch and a half thick. So I'm just gonna go around and sand the edges of the table down using a low grit sandpaper so I can really curve the edges, and then because it's plywood, it's gonna have a lot of stuff we don't wanna see, so I'm gonna do a final pass around the edge with Bondo. So basically the way this works is it's two different components that you have to mix together. So you got your hardener cream, and you got your putty. Don't rain, oh my God, rain. I'm gonna go around the edge with Bondo, sand it down, and then give it a coat of paint, attach the buckets. Uh, is this gonna work? <clears throat> I don't know, we'll see. Let's let it dry. We'll come back and sand it later. We're replacing this light and it's gonna get the ceiling medallion. One of my favorite hacks for making a space look more decorated, especially a ceiling, is using a ceiling medallion. I also love swagging lights. Hey, we're just eating up some of that ceiling space. We're adding some interest up there and they're also really inexpensive, but they don't look it. Okay, so on this huge wall, we are trying to maximize our use of the vertical space. So we are making a shelf above the Luna cabinets, which are already tall cabinets. So this shelf is gonna be more like a decor shelf, but it's gonna be a great like feature spot for some key elements that'll sort of bring in the vibe of the room. So I'm finding all the studs along this wall and so that my brackets are evenly spaced because I want this shelf to be centered over the living room setup. 
All right, it is 8.30, tomorrow's our last day. So all the construction's pretty much done, except for I can already see one thing that we still have to do is finish the other side of that. It's been a lot to do here. So back at it tomorrow for the last day and then we're revealing. Okay, I gotta go catch an Uber now. Forgot that Kate took the car home with Moon. Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. I can't believe it's here. The day we are finishing this space, it is such a gigantic space. It has been such a project for all the reasons you guys know. Let's finish it, let's finish it! First order of business is we have to talk about this floating shelf. We have black going on in the space. We've got a black TV. Those dining table legs are black and industrial and very much that same exact vibe of those shelf brackets, which is why I picked those in the first place. This was actually inspired by some of the inspiration images that Kyle sent me in his Wabi Sabi style. There were like just some long shelves with, you know, some various kind of ceramic items with negative space. It kind of gives you some visual interest, but also some like rest in between. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. We chose these black shelf brackets, which perfectly bring in the black that you will see in the table legs of the custom dining table that they already had. So we've got the black playing throughout the space. Obviously we have the black TV, so you know what? Black is one of our colors. We're gonna make it work. Okay, this is Facebook Marketplace find. Twisted rope, rattan, and kind of like a whitewash. Obviously we love it because it's got those arc shapes. And the plan for this shelf, kid storage. <laughs> you guys remember how much of an explosion of toys there was in here before? They're just like all over. They didn't have any storage, so we gave them those two Luna cabinets over there. They can put a ton of stuff in. There's the Greenwich under the TV that they can also put stuff in. This sliding door is right here. Oftentimes they use this, you know, to come in and out and certainly play in the yard right here. So this to me is like sort of like kid zone. So we're gonna style it now. We will definitely secure this to the wall too so that it is baby safe. Put that on the list, add that to the list, add that to the list. I couldn't help myself. I got a couple new things, cause you know, we want Isla to be so excited about the design too. But I had to get a couple new cute little plushy cute things. I mean, I like toys just like the next 40 year old. Yes, I'm 40! <laughs> Sky! I can help myself! Our color palette! Sort of. <laughs> you just got some of these smaller bins, good for like the little random storage. It just makes it so much more fun for kids to play when their stuff is easy accessible. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed! I'm obsessed! Storage, cuteness. The garbage truck is here. <laughs> One of the big problems in here for Kyle and Cena was this huge wall of windows. This is actually their front door. He texted us and said that yeah. it was a problem that they were having every morning for breakfast because the sun would just stream through. And then when we came over, they had been putting up play mats. This we to breakfast. step up on? Yes. Okay. Risky. Yeah. We would sit at our dining table and we would get blasted in the face and Isla's like trying to eat breakfast. When we went over one time, they had like put like the play foam mats up in the window. <laughs> Kyle was like climbing up on chairs. This is a very easy solve and this is a really cool product that anyone can use. You go to the hardware store, they have roller shades that you can basically cut to any size. So you can either inset them, which is what we're gonna do on the top two windows. That just means like it sits inside the window frame or you can surface melt them, which is what we're gonna do on the doors. And it's basically just gonna go down behind the door handles and it's super easy to install. You can do it in like, 20 minutes. And I wanted it to be different than the curtains that we have going on in the rest of the space because as we talked about, we're trying to distinguish this area as being a little bit different, a little bit separate from the main living space. These are really great, really affordable. You go and you get it cut exactly to size and then you just mount the brackets and pop it in, which Joey's gonna do wonderfully right now because I have more shelves to put stuff on too. <laughs> I've been wanting to show this here. Can you hold oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Tip, tip coming in. If you have one of our metal cabinets, see how this line does not line up? This is how you adjust these. It's super yeah. easy. There's a little swivel on the foot. Okay, there's the swivel. And you just turn it. Now watch the... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me watch it. Right there. Woo! Did I go too far? A little, like the smidgen is smidgen too far. Woof! 
So if you have one of these cabinets, any of our cabinets, mm -hmm. it's a really good tip to know. Yeah. Okay, let's put down the rugs. Oh man, that new fan looks so cool. It's so much better than their last one. Remember their last one was like so scrunched up to the ceiling and it had a light on it. Like there's no need for a light. They have a million recess <laughs> lights. Well, also, the, the, I was talking to the electrician, and he was talking to me about this specific style of fan blade is like known to be like the best for like wind and and like making the an effective fanage. Really, <laughs> yeah. the best fan. So Kyle loves tech. Possible. We got him a very high. We got tech you the fan highest blade. tech fanage fan. Apparently, this fan is the most fanny fan fan you can ever fan yourself with so you're welcome Kyle I didn't know this I bought it just because I thought it was a cool looking you know sleek fan I didn't want a fan with a light on it because like ew here's the key guys if you've got a tall ceiling make sure you get a ceiling fan with a rod that is longer than like this long okay you want like the 24 inch or 30 inch or whatever your ceiling can handle because this drops the fan down makes it look so much better and also just helps with the air circulation coming down a little more. So this fanny fan fan is the most fanny fan fan you ever did fan. Oh my gosh! That's the bottom. It's come, I know, I, I figured. <laughs> it's a bottom. We still gotta do a final finish on the top, but look at these nice rounded edges. I know, it looks so pro. Good job, Jelly. So I'm gonna sand the top, give it a final coat of paint, and then we want to put a little poly on it probably? Yes. With these buckets, it's actually really sturdy. Like there's no like tip point on it. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get the curtains up and hopefully by the time you get back here from getting in from school, it's ready to be styled. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna trace where the buckets are, get the buckets attached, and then once the buckets are attached, flip it over and do my final coat on top. Hello, today's video would not be possible without our sponsor, Squarespace. If you're watching this video, you're a creative weirdo, but what is that creative idea you are trying to get off the ground? Whether it's a product you're selling, or a course you're teaching, or a portfolio of your work that you wanna show off, it's simple and quick to get your custom website up and running with Squarespace. You can register your domain and build a beautiful website with pretty much no skill. <laughs> You can get started immediately with one of their flexible website templates with designs for every category and use case, then customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can make sure that it looks good on desktop and mobile. Plus, with Squarespace's Fluid Engine, you just build it how you see it by dragging stuff around and all of the programming happens in the back end. It's really that easy. If you're selling products, you can use Squarespace for in-person sales using their Square Reader and Squarespace app so that you can keep your orders, inventory, and customer data in sync with your online store. What are you waiting for? Get your site and online presence going today. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Mr. K and get 10% off your purchase of a website or a domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. This is when Kate does the daring act of climbing the tallest ladder to decorate the tallest shelf. We call her the schmall who can do it all. <laughs> Thanks, Moon. <laughs> This basket is too yellow. I think I might spray paint yeah. it. That basket, way too yellow. Remember how I just did not like the yellow of that Slatwood shelf? Well, this basket is giving me the same vibe. So we've got ivory spray paint, wham bam. This thrifted basket vase is now the perfect color to go on the shelf. Most of the stuff for this decor shelf I've scrounged from our <clears throat> hoarding closet, as Joey calls it. All the beautiful things that I keep around. Actually, this little wooden sculpture I made in a previous video you guys may have seen out of just some scrap wood pieces and spray painted it. And I just thought this was so like in that kind of wabi-sabi vibe along with some other awesome vintage finds and just things that I had. So much better. These accent chairs, they're like the cutest little puddle pebbles of softness. 
this, there was actually this exact chair, I don't know if this is the exact brand, but this exact chair on one of Kyle's inspiration images. So like, boom, done, done. Perfect for kids, soft edges. I love them. This is one from our studio that I absolutely love. I feel like I need a moment of purple over there. So let's just see. If it looks amazing, I'm just gonna leave it here for them. All right, so we've got the slat wall. It looks so cool. The floating cubes is just for a little bit of styling. So obviously with this, I wanna keep them smaller so that they can obviously fit on the shelves and also I was thinking some stuff like this like a nice clear vase with a little shape so that you still have the ability to see through okay so this shelf right here technically Isla can reach so we're gonna put something non-breakable there. A little lightweight black metal tin. Maybe we'll put some little flowers. That's going to Little plant, lightweight, the wood pot. Inside the two sky blue Luna cabinets, I've styled some rainbow baskets for them, some more of Isla's books and stuff. But obviously there's like so much space in there that they can fill up with whatever they need to toy-wise, storage-wise. In the last video I showed you guys how I got the same rug for under the dining table and under the living room. I just loved how this unified the space. I loved how it brought in like a natural weave. It's jute, but it's in the white wash jute. So it really brings in just like that light fresh color that they both love. And it's a nice way to have designated areas, but obviously they're both like really good friends because they're the same rug, just different sizes. And the paint job is done. It's looking good. Last step to add a coat a polycrylic on top and we have a completed coffee table you walked home to what mom doing something on the floor grabbing my neck i'm making inventions Ooh. Looks like Made it so tight that I can tie a cold school on a penny. I finished the surfboard yeah, art like, like go, go, go. literally go, go, go. 10 minutes ago. Down. Tomorrow's the last day to finish. <sighs> I'm gonna go eat dinner, finally. Okay, it's on the table. Thank you. All right guys, last day, it's reveal day. Also, so excited about how this turned out. So we just glued this pole wrap on, set it, put all this tape on here to just make sure it was nice and snug against the wall overnight. And I am super stoked about how this material works. Super easy to cut. All right guys, and then our finishing touch on this wall one of our brand new Mr. K pieces. One of the things I'm really enjoying about all of our makeovers recently is like how much we're able to use our Mr. K furniture. Like we started our furniture line probably two years ago. We have so many pieces now and to have all these different styles of pieces, we literally have something for everyone. And you know, we're using this new TV console here. This is our Greenwich TV console and it's gorgeous and it's perfect for both of their styles. I hope it doesn't feel like we're always like pitching our products. I'm like really proud of all this stuff and so cool that we get to use so much Mr. Kate stuff in this room. It's got these top and bottom tracks and so you can kind of choose your configuration. So this is a brand new piece. This is also available in black. Okay, so we're gonna just like pull together this dining room area. You guys know we have the same rug happening here that we've got over there. It's just like a nice kind of way to tie in the two spaces. Obviously this one's a little bit of a smaller size. So now we've got these dining chairs. Okay, we've got six of these. So we replaced their pre-existing dining. Yeah, because their dining chairs before they had the wishbone chairs. I don't hate a wishbone chair. I like a wishbone chair, but just the wrong shape with this live edge table. The arms cut right into where the table was like its most gorgeous. And also they had way too many of them. So 
We've slimmed it down to six dining chairs, which fit way better in where the legs of the table are positioned. Also, I chose a straight dining chair. So we're really more simple against this beautiful organic edge of the table. It's a way better juxtaposition. These dining chairs also have some caning on them, which brings in a nice island vibe, but I wanted to give them a little softness. So these little fuzzy cushions, they've got kind of like a sticky under so that they stick nicely to the bottom of the chairs and they're perfect to just add a little bit of coziness under your butt. There's only three of them. Obviously when they have friends over, I have this little stool action. We've got two of these. So I'm gonna leave these for them and the idea is when if you have friends over, you know, add a little stool, it's cute. But then you don't have like a bajillion chairs around your table clogging the table. We don't have a light fixture coming down. Normally you have like the light fixture coming to meet the dining table kind of completes the space. Since we don't have that, I really wanted like a big like bam centerpiece situation. Okay, so I'm so excited about the centerpiece. I already knew Kyle and Tina were gonna be like faux plant, faux flower people cause you know what, it's okay, no shame. There's plenty of us out there that can't keep plants alive, that don't have the time to, you know, refresh your foliage every week with new branches. So, faux is the way to go. Stick from our yard. <laughs> faux cherry blossoms. So I got these, they're actually really cool, but they came with all of these green leaves on them. So you can literally just pull off these leaves. I feel like it looks classier and cooler just the pink. So we're kind of juxtaposing like the frilliness of the florals with these very, you know, kind of wintry looking sticks. So the wires in them you can manipulate and get the shape you want. is it? Let me karate chop it. Huh? Let me karate chop no, it. No, I do not want you to karate chop <laughs> it. You came over here thinking I would say, they're gonna be here in 10 minutes. Please practice your karate chop. Right here, is this where you want it? Yes. Uh, how this goes is how the reveal's gonna go. Ow! Oh, are you okay? Am I bleeding? No. Joey! <laughs> this is how the reveal's gonna Oh Are my okay? god. I, no. I'm more nervous now. <laughs> if this table doesn't make it on Pinterest, I don't know what will. <laughs> this thing turned Are out your, so cool. Your life goals. <laughs> yep. This shape, okay? This works so well with the chaise, right? Cuz like, look, you can actually move around the the chaise. You could sit here. Ah, this coffee table, you guys. Okay, I know some of you are rolling your eyes, sneering your lips at us, but it looks good. It is beautifully weighted and balanced. I love that I was able to create a custom shape with this because I needed to have an asymmetrical coffee table so that it could be larger on the end opposite the chaise and then kind of go more narrow. Painted white, painted the buckets, don't worry. And we've also sealed the top of the coffee table with a poly so that it's you know easy to wipe and all that stuff with a little kid and I'm thrilled with how it turned out. Oh my gosh. What? I'm obsessed. Just seeing this, great outfit choice by the way. <laughs> Look at how good, ah! It looks so good. So this is just a simple pendant I found. I really like the kind of clean modern look to it. I liked the chain. I knew I wanted to swag it up and over a little bit just to maximize the square that I was establishing in that entryway. And the ceiling medallion adds some beautiful ornate elements, kind of juxtaposes the simplicity of the fixture. Here, you sit here. <sighs> Let's have a conversation. Like this? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> this is the funniest shaped rug cuddle we've ever done. <laughs> we work with our material, it's a tiny round rug. Rug cuddle time. I look forward to the rug cuddles. It's a nice grounding moment in all the chaos, just to sort of like give Kate a hug, take in the space, and just enjoy 
a couple seconds of calmness. That slat wall you built is like so good and I'm so glad that we painted it. And our salvage yard mirror. I love when one of my hoarded pieces that we kept in our garage getting gecko pooped on is now the perfect moment. And I love using the two Annie cabinets. These are in parchment. These are from our line. It's a big part of the lifestyle here in Hawaii to remove your shoes when you come into someone's home and you inevitably get like a pile of shoes by your door. So I love that we've got these closed cabinets for them. They can store their shoes in there, tuck them away and nobody will know. Okay, let's talk about the finishing touches in this area. So this is like the sliding door out to their lanai and their yard. This tree's like a nice soft green and I like this to just kind of soften this corner here. And then I got these two benches here that I just put together. You come in from this door and you're able to see this wood slat. It carries you over to that. We've got the fluting on the Lunas too. So it's like the repetition of these shapes throughout the space, make it flow. And then I just happened upon these rugs in our cabinet where the color palette was just too perfect. So this is gonna be a little cute entry mat, I think, for here. I like, I think I like this one because I just like the diamond shapes of it. We got the blue. Boom. Like so cute. Again, thanks to my hoarding, we have a gorgeous, perfect pastel rug for the entryway. You're welcome. From one hoarder to another, if you're watching, can't stop, won't stop buying tiny rugs <laughs> and keeping them. Ooh, little peachy pillow. Ooh, you guys. Is it done? I personally can't believe it. I think it's done. It looks so good, if I do say so myself. But what do you guys think? came in here and it was just like everything on the floor and then just huge white walls. So we had such a challenge. I think the wallpaper probably made the biggest impact, which I am just so happy with it. I think it gives like this kind of whimsy to the space, but stays in that creamy color palette that we wanted. Putting the sofa here, game changer, right? It was over on that wall. The TV's there. They were watching the TV like this. Now they can watch it normally. And it's so good of a flow now with the storage here with our Luna cabinets. The slat wall, you know, kind of harkens on the arc that we have in those cabinets. And we repeated that shape throughout the space with the cornices. Game changer with this partial slat wall. You can see through it when you walk in, but it also is a visual stop, right? So you're not walking into their dining table. You're now walking into its own space with the checkerboard wallpaper also over there. So it's like a little bit of a mirror image. It's satisfying to see. We've also got this area for Isla's toys. I love this as open shelving for her to access some of her toys and then the rest of it can go into the little baskets in the cabinet. The dining area now is inviting. We took away a couple chairs. You'll notice that the surfaces other than like the shelf up here with styling, Everything else is very minimally styled. We don't have anything on the coffee table, nothing on the Greenwich over there, nothing on the entry cabinets. And that's just very much what Kyle liked in his inspiration images, kind of that clean zen look. I think we pulled it off, but <laughs> I'm not the judge, okay? Kyle and Cena live in this space. But reminder, you guys, they have not been privy to any details, okay? I know they are scared, I'm scared. Let's get them in here.
<gasps> we'll go okay, in, I'm so we'll shut nervous. the door behind us, and then you can open okay, it. Okay, we'll do like a little conga line here. Put your hands on my shoulders. Okay. 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 <laughs> Kyle. Oh my gosh. We're going yeah. in. Okay, my eyes are closed. I'm going to look down so I can like step. Oh, Not like step. There's no other things I'm going to step on. Position you. Position you. I feel something. I feel something. I feel You guys are like shaking. I am. I'm so nervous. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I open my eyes anymore. I'm scared. Okay. Okay, okay, so okay. remember what your room looked like before. Um, yes. The toys everywhere. Toys everywhere, but it just wasn't functional for yes. you. You ready to see it? Yes, 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 yes. So yes, yes. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Holy! Oh, what? What? Oh my god, it's so good! Oh my god, it's so good! It's so good! Guys, oh my god, the wallpaper, the amazing. colors. Wait, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Holy moly. Oh my god. How do you do I'm that? Like, oh my god. This is like my dream house. God. This is what I talk about all the time to you about the deeper meaning of interior design. Like, yes, what we do is like superficial in the sense that it's like, you know, outside of you, but it's supposed to speak to you, to the deepest parts of you, the parts of you that you love about yourself. And I just feel like Sina's reaction, like her just, her emotions say so much. Like she's usually so composed, you know, she's like a host, she's a pro on camera. Like she doesn't cry on camera, but like here she is, you know, it's, it spoke to her soul, I think. And Kyle and them like hugging, like, oh my God, I'm gonna cry, I have goosebumps. It's just so sweet and it's just, the perfect ending to what was a crazy ride of a project. Oh my oh, god, god, look at this! Oh, <laughs> Lila's little play toys. Oh, oh that's wait, a little oh, Isla spot. spot. What? The thing on the curtains? This? Was this he, What was this before? What was, was this? That was not this there before. Oh my god! You guys have an entryway. Like, I know! Your guests and can then come like in this, the entryway. This is so, this! I love this. Yes! I love this. That's our new wallpaper this is we so just cool. released. I love it. I'm so glad. It is look so it. good. Oh, I love so it. Good. Like, I don't even know how you guys did this. Oh, look at that wooden, like. Yep. Oh, Take it and it's got it. a curb. <gasps> oh my god, the slat wall. Wow. Yay, Whoa, these Who's little movie chairs. <laughs> what the heck? Like, the rug is so cute, this too. This is a and sick coffee. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Wait. Oh, I'm so glad you Where like did you even it? find this? This is so cute. Cheers. We found it in Joey's bicep. Oh my goodness. Oh, made it. What? Yes. Joey. You made that? <gasps> and yes. this? I love this baby yes. blue. What? Your guys' artwork looks so I good. Just I just caught know. that. Oh, wait. You, it That's did Isla's favorite dress. I finally. That's <laughs> Wow! Oh my goodness, and it like works so well with the colors we you did. You guys saw that! <laughs> Isla's dress! So an homage to you, the surfing agent, yes, Isla's oh favorite dress in the pastel God. colors that you love. That's perfect. You painted that? I painted that. Oh my God. You are so good. What I pictured in my head, this is like above and beyond. Oh good. What like so I was like even think was possible. This was a, a very challenging project for us, but we did it. Feels wow. good to be done. I know, it feels wow. so good to be done and I truly love the space. If this was a picture on Pinterest, I would have sent it as inspo to you guys. Yes! I'm not even kidding. Yes! Thank you, you guys, guys so did. much for taking this on. Like, so good. incredible. You guys like, it. it just feels warm and inviting and the pops of color. So you guys love it? I oh love God. it, we like are obsessed with it. I feel like we bought a new house. Yes. Like, I'm like, what? Well, I, I mean, it's the least we could do for you guys. Obviously, we wouldn't have our house here if it weren't for you. All right, well, we've been in the space for too long. Yes. It's time really for us have. to go home. Enjoy. You want to walk us out through your entryway? Yes, we Gosh. do. Come on. So <laughs> proud to do that. Good job. Wow. Wow. This feels like a dream. Thanks for, thanks for trusting us with Thank your house. Thank you so much oh for gosh. doing such a good job. Yes. Next time I come over, there better not be any toys in this entry. <laughs> just chuck them in no the cabinet. Promises. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Bye. 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 Oh my gosh. Wait, we didn't tell them their coffee table is made out of buckets. Oh gosh, Joey, we didn't tell them. Are they gonna Why are you gonna it? tell them? <laughs> we'll find out later. <laughs>